So what did we cover in the last class? Sorry? That's right. So before that, we had come with our POC and value proposition. Remember that? So we had got something concrete. We knew it was going to work, going to do something important for possible customers. And then last class we saw that what we need to have to make it happen, is that right? So that's what, so now we are really making the one more jump, which is most critical jump, that whatever we had studied, thought, important, necessary, you have to now go out and get the stakeholders who are going to actually be your partners, be a part of this business and for that business they need to provide you resources. What are the six resources that we required? Yeah, the profit model. What are the resources that we had wanted? Physical, reputation, organizational, financial, intellectual and technological. Yeah. So if you see some of them, they need to be with you, means you must have those resources yourself and some of them like financial and other organizational networking and all we need to acquire. The business plan is going to help us to acquire these resources which we covered last class. So therefore we are going to make this business plan for each of our idea or the project that we are working on. So let's start with the first word itself, business. So the moment you say you are going to be doing a business, what are the three important things that must be there? Profit. Profit is a, is it a result or is it, again I told you money is the last thing we should think about that. Profit has to be there but profit is the result of your efforts and what you are doing. It is not something you start with. You want to do something different because then only you will get the profit. Okay. So three things that we require for a business. Idea. Nobody is going to buy your idea. That's right. You heard that last class. Idea has no, well, yeah. Product, customer, yeah. What else? Yeah, I think very good, quite close. So the three things are what you are going to offer, that is what product and service you are coming up with. Idea is very good, but from the idea you need to make a progress to a specific item, product or service. That is the first important thing, the what that you are going to really make and give to your customers. Then second thing is that who are the people who are really most likely to buy this or get it from this. You can't have general anybody in the world can buy your things. So there has to be very specific target that we must know that this is what a person who is buying a new flat in Hiranani of three bedroom with five crore budget is my customer, okay. So that is the, that's what you mean by target. That is not anyone who is going to do that. So what you are going to do, product or service, who is the most appropriate, valuable person who will benefit from this. And third is now, how I want to, all the profit resources that you have got, going to organize, that is how we are going to utilize these resources and make those items, products, services, which will sell and only when these three things are over, then you get the profit. Is that right? In many cases, if you don't do these three things properly, there could be even loss. Many of the companies would be actually wiped out. So we are talking about business plan, but before that, we must talk about the business itself. That is the, what fundamentally a business is 
the three key things what who and how okay very good then when you look at businesses all around the world or anywhere near or far whatever businesses do we see that day we wrote some of these names remember that we wrote like reliance and all is that right when i asked you name any businesses for resources so there are businesses from entire range but basically all of them can be put into just a small categories so when a business is there whatever business fundamentally are there yeah no matter what size what area what is there only four types of businesses which are there and what are those one is that you make something that is most important that you take some resources or materials you work on them and you make something else whether it is this bottle or whether it is your pen whether it is your notebook whether it is a laptop there are companies who are making things that is they are manufacturing things and what they can do then they can sell it but they can do two things they can sell it directly or they will sell it through someone is that right so that is basically what will happen now when they sell through someone typically what happens it goes through either a wholesaler or a retailer depending on the type of business and today we are seeing something more we are coming going to address that and last thing is that as against manufacturing you will be offering a service that is you are not going to produce things and then sell it you might produce it but the way you will offer it could be very different example of this entertainment service av making available sorry netflix what does netflix do streaming movies does it manufacture also can also manufacture but there could be some companies who would only just provide the entertainment as a service today because of the entire emergence of the e-commerce platform what has happened the traditional categorization has become very fuzzy it is not as sharp as it was earlier as you can see that you can have companies who would sell directly may not require like dell he says that go to my website and configure your product and it will be shipped to you directly so it is manufacturing and selling distributing everything in one not the traditional wise that i will make 1000 pieces give it to 20 wholesalers and they will give it to 100 distributors so this is now getting blurred because of the new business models which are coming up increasingly also what's happening increasingly what is happening the way of consumption and use has become very different vis a vis going and visiting a tourist spot somebody is proposing the vr based experience is that right does it equal to actual going on a layer ladakh and doing that but there are people who believe that if i offer this as virtual reality will there be customers so it depends on that so today business is increasingly what you make how you make and how you really reach the customers where there are multiple dimensions possible 
as against the standard thing. So, we need to that's come to that again because what you are going to do and how are you going to reach your customer going to be equally important. So, let us see that how really new ventures get formed. Each one of you is trying to form a new venture, is that right? So, look at yourself, what are you doing? You are all setting up new ventures, what are you doing? Yes, sorry, service, yeah, no, no, what is happening? What is the process you are going through? If I develop a machine that I find that you are there as an entrepreneur and there is an MRI for entrepreneurial understanding that what he or she is undergoing physically or mentally or other thing, what will I find? Is that right? It is going to happen automatically? You had a thought that I want to set up a new venture and the venture is ready, is that right? How does a venture really get through? So, it is the entrepreneur who is the key person, the hero that is things are happening all around us, is that right? We are not living in a vacuum, things are happening all around us and we believe there is some opportunity which is there and it is the entrepreneur's job to look at the opportunities and if they believe in that then they can act on it. So, the most fundamental attribute of an entrepreneur is looking at things and thinking something which is way out, something which has not been thought before, something which will create a new value, a new experience, a new difference. So, that is the most fundamental thing required for a new venture. That is a person believes that in this situation or a situation which might come about in the next few days, few months or few years, this is something we need to have. Is that right? So, that is the most basic requirement and those persons who believe that they are able to do this or they can do it, that is the beginning of the new venture. So, there are two important things here is that if you are going to an entrepreneur, you need to really do something serious, something substantial, something which require boldness, which require something beyond the normal size. So, that is the plan with audacity and as I mentioned again, it is not, does not end with idea. it begins with the idea. So, from that idea beginning to a product or service, what you require? Lots of action. Thinking or idling or daydreaming is not going to give you anything further. But therefore, so both plan, boldness and action behind it. Some of you are doing all the courses and spending extra 4 hours every day on your idea, is that right? So, that is what it means. The second thing is, once you are doing a venture, there is going to be big challenges and you have to pay for it. If you want to do something, there is a cost for doing anything which is not taken care of. So, today where you are that from B take 1 to B take 4, your cost have been taken care of either by your parents or by institute or by whatever it is, is that right? If you are going to do anything beyond that, there is an extra cost and unless you are willing to pay that cost, you can really not make any progress and therefore, if you are thinking you will get profit by doing this, it will never come without the risk that is going to be there that we will be pursuing. 
so to get profit without risk or experience without danger so if you are walking 100 steps every day in your hostel corridor is there experience only once you go beyond the pipeline and see something else then you have added something there so therefore without exposing yourself exploring there is no learning there is no experience and then reward without work that is unless you put in the efforts and what it is comparing to mr kodiv is as impossible as to live without being born so this is what we are doing and in doing this what you are going to cover today in your class the business plan is a very important tool because ultimately you are going to set up all our efforts into this structure and framework of the business plan okay so like for everything there is a structure whether it is your body or whether a subject you are learning or anything else there is always a structure underlying any activity or discipline or field so the structure for a business is we have covered that what is the basic structure for a business already we covered in our earlier classes that is the business model which one of the model canvas is of course is beyond that so the basic of the the basic structure that underlies a business is the business model and what's a business model you have studied many models uh, in your other subjects yeah what is the bore atom studied that what does it tell you hmm so are there any differences between all these people they are trying to understand the same thing but each came with a different model depending on the their knowledge which was pre, that time prevailing and the tools they had to use for their studies so same we talk about business there is a basic of business model that means how really that business operates and for an entrepreneur a business again as i mentioned to you comes into an existing world and an emerging world so therefore you need to understand that what you want to do those three things what for whom and how so how do you want to compete what you want to use how you want to create value so all these things become the basic part of the business model and like we can have multiple models even in science we will definitely have different models for a different type of business sometime the whole innovation can come only because of a new model it could be same business but the model could be very different so let's understand how does really businesses operate and why do models emerge and why do people come up with different ideas so basically as you see that any basic process you get the inputs you can have a black box and you get the output is that right so a business also essentially gets something whether it is materials services or whatever it is does something on that to increase its value and create an output and if that output value is more than input value you can get that 
profit or surplus back and you can use it for more inputs and the business can go on increasing is that right so basically like we talk about the business for manufacturing what they do they get the materials inbound logistics operate on them sell it somewhere do the proper distribution marketing promotion and based on that they will get the output and payment for that and there are both primary activities which actually this goes on and there are also supporting activities like finance and structure infrastructure and all which are required to manage let's say reliance so what does reliance come with sorry yeah so they have to buy the crude so where do they get the crude from they will get from bombay high or they will buy from kuwait or whatever it is right so from that spot to reaching their refinery all that needs to be done is the inbound logistics okay and what does it make at the end of it it makes the petrochemicals or plastics is that right what does it do it sells it to people who make auto components out of that plastic or bags or whatever it is so from this they need to reach the people who are going to actually use them that is the outbound logistics understand that so there are also some things which are done outside the existing chain which are for long term use like you might spend 3 years to develop a new product and then it will get into the main line so the company will always be doing various activities and what is the basic aim of for this that it is the what logic will work which will give us continuously sustain surplus from our activities and how we can organize it most efficiently that is what the center that is the capture the opportunity that is there while doing that minimize the risk which are there we'll see it again what are the resources you required is it better to buy from iran or buy from the new source that is us is making so all that will be the efficient value and ultimately give the value to customers and only after that get the profit for the founders and the investors so whenever you talk about new venture you talk about the opportunity you talk about what the customers want but what you want to do and how you organize is the where you put into the value chain there is a value chain for any business any community any industry where the customers are going to be ultimate beneficiaries and what we need to understand is the how does the value chain operate that is right from concept to the customer and people are watching there are millions of people who are having their brains working overtime looking at things can you change them can you improve them and at what point in this value chain they can make a difference so the new ventures ultimately come because people come with the ideas or concepts which will have impact either at some of these activities within the activities or at the interface between these activities that is marketing today reliance might be doing marketing in a totally physical medium is that right can it do something in a different way can it marketing itself can it do different or it is making the products or services you heard the term jit you have heard the term jit in automobile manufacturing that is just in time just in time inventory management so that is a part of your inbound 
logistics. So Toyota when they told all their suppliers that from now onwards this is the way our entire system will operate, they created new value in the inbound logistics and made the difference. Or if somebody had come with this concept and sold this concept to big companies that would be a new venture, is that right? So basically the value chain, the point on the value chain and its impact is what really the new venture is going to do. So it is in this system that we are going to put the basic framework for the business plan. So what is the business framework? The key things are the first is the people that is who are the people who want to start this activity or this business. The team, the capabilities, the attitude, the reputation, remember those? So that is what, who you are and what you can do, what is your capacity, that is the first thing. And you are continuously tracking, interacting, finding that there is something like an opportunity. And that could be coming through, customers not satisfied because they are not getting something or the model of the business is not efficient as it should be. So there are certain ways in which you are looking at things and you believe there is a possibility of pursuing opportunity. And to do that, what you require? Require the resources to make that happen, make that bring it into practice. And to get that resources, we need to strike a deal with someone who will help you, okay? So most fundamental, a very simple framework, this is what the any business comes about. It starts with you, how you look at the world and to make that happen, what you require and how and from whom you will get that. So how you organize your entire idea and plan, this is what the business plan is. So actually what you are doing, if you look at this, what's really happening? If you are starting with this and coming to this level, what's really happening? Do you see something which is very common to what you see or what happens? Essentially when you saw this whole thing, what it is? Something is getting unfolded? Yeah, that is later, that will come, but the whole process, that may be at the, here they will validate people who want to support you. But the whole thing that is happening from your idea, you are looking at things and going ahead, what does it remind you? Development, yeah, that's right, but there is something akin to that. What's happening? Are you spending time on this? Are you spending efforts on this? Are you changing in this process? Are you remaining same where you were or you are now different? Have you evolved? So what is this is actually, it's a story. The business plan or the venture coming out is actually a story. And what is a good story? Do you want a good story or a bad story? So what is a good story? Sorry? Mm -hmm. The stories you heard as a child, that was a good story, no? Tota Mayana Ki Kahani, Aur Ek Tha Raja Hai, all that is that right? So what makes a good story? The story is that you truly enjoy, you watch movies, you watch plays, is that right? What really the? story is, what makes a story. So the real stories which make impact on us, if you look at it, either what you read or saw or enjoyed or experienced, you will find that there are some basic things in a story. And what is that? That there is a situation and there is certain driving force, certain changes which are happening which raise certain questions or issues 
if you accept everything then there is no story is that right and why you do this or why you do not do something there is a reason behind that and at the end of it you come to conclusion it can be a tragedy or it can be a happy ending or can be continuing but the key thing is the what happens to reach the outcome and that really determines the experience and the enjoyment and the happiness that you get in. So, basically we will talk about your own new venture it is really a story or a movie you are living in real time okay. and that is what you need to convince the people who are going to help you. So, essentially when talk about business plan essentially how to write a good screenplay actually you, when you see a movie you see that how does movie happen is there logic for the scenes changing is the logic for the persons behavior changing. So, all that thing that we need to keep in mind that is what really a story is. So, what you are looking for are the key stages in a story which really is a strong story which makes big impact there are three basic elements in that and what are those three basic element in a story which really impresses you or makes impact on you. The first is that there is a situation in which there are people there is something is there today something is happening today and there is a specific situation which is today prevailing. Now, if the situation continues there for next 10 years then there is of course, no story is there something we need to change. So, the next stage is that there is a development which is now requiring that actions to be taken by the players in a different ways and that requires significant challenge to be addressed and it can put your life or career in a balance. And the third stage is the resolution of the story and that could be as I said it can be it is not necessary that everything will be happy ending you could also have great tragedies that is there. So, basically set the stage dramatic conflict and reach resolution. So, if you see any story typically you will find these as the basic elements. So, the part of your adventure your new venture you need to decide how are you going to work that is for you start with the current situation. What is that students who are getting into college are not able to save money that is right that is the situation. Is there something possible in doing that what is the challenge in doing this either they are ignorant or there is inertia or there is less money than they really want whatever it is. So, there are the challenges which are there are they really serious challenges if it is addressed would it really give big benefit you need to ask that because there are so many problems and depending on the challenge and the degree of the difficulty of the problem the implementation and the rewards would be very different. And at the end of it when you say reach resolution in a story or a movie in business you have to create a new value equation. What is the new value equation we studied that earlier yeah what are the elements four things you get if you want to create a value equation what do you need to do. Remember that those four things you saw just now this JIT what did you do just in time it did something what did it do optimize, but how it will reduce the inventory at the company that means, it brought down the quantity and the value of the. So, you want to create a new value equation 
the four things that we had studied where either you create something or or eliminate something and what are the other two either you raise increase something or reduce something there are only four things which happens depending on the what type of business you are working on and that will give you the new value equation so think of each and every project that you are working on think about what are you doing in terms of creating something or eliminate something or raising or reducing something so what are you creating arnesh are you creating something it is an amount of money that is spent what else mm hmm mm hmm yeah if you see at a very basic level you are creating a new way of saving habits in the people is that right and in doing that the hassle that is typically required for managing a general saving way of doing thing that you are reducing substantially is that right so think about everything each and every project that you are doing essentially we will have to follow one of these four things that you are creating something which is not there today that is a universal remote control or whatever it is and because of that you are helping these people in doing something so the story you have got essentially in the business plan you have to show is that you give the current situation and show that in today's situation these are the things which are happening or not happening and because of that people are either suffering or they are not able to enjoy or get something and it is through your intervention that you are creating this new value equation if you come with this that is really the ultimate basis of a business plan so essentially what we want to do in each of our cases come with the problem or opportunity or need that is this is the situation and provide a very live good description of the situation that this is what currently things are and because of these problems we want to explore or do something yesterday we had that who was doing this tabla tuning devesh devesh wants to do develop a automatic tabla tuner so what is the problem he is solving that if you go to a concert instead of starting straight away people might lose 10 20 minutes in just tuning the instrument is that right that is the current situation is that a big problem do people get restless why it doesn't start on time does it have a feasible solution it can be done electronically and if it is done how does it benefit will people be willing to pay for that so whatever you are doing you need to put into the scenario that this is what things are so it could be a problem could be also an opportunity that is something which is not there now but could be you can go to mars or go to an asteroid to get new minerals is that right is an opportunity for you can you try that so basically the first job in our venture development in our business and creation is the essentially the problem or the current need that is there so once you have got this then what's your next step you have to come with the yeah but how does it come about it comes because you want to find a solution for that which will address this problem the solution will come initially as an idea for you and that idea you need to essentially convert into a specific development in terms of 
what is the features benefit that you will get and how it will impact the recipient or the likely customer because of that. So, the problem need opportunity and the solution and offering that you are going to have. Again, it should be solution should be such that it is not so easy and so commonplace that hundreds of other people can immediately start doing it. Is there something unique that you are bringing it to the scenario that is most important. So, once you have got the problem need and the solution what is next? What do you do? You need to be very specific and bring it down list it properly that is my solution is that these are the features I am going to create in my solution and because of these features these are the benefits which the customer will get. So, this is the most critical part that the problem that you have identified the solution you are getting, but what the solution really means in practice that means it can give you many things what can a solution give you? It can give you speed, accuracy, range whatever it is in general, but specifically and if speed is increasing what is the benefit? Why are you getting 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G is that right? Why is happening continuously? So, that is the feature that you are adding is that right? What is the benefit you are getting? Is the faster the only thing? Earlier it was only data, only voice, only data is that right? Are you also getting the range of services is also different is that right? So, you need to clearly bring out what features are there and because of these features which you are offering which is not enough. The feature must be balanced with the benefits which the customers are going to derive or get. So, only we can equate that there is no point in saying that I will make a universal remote the benefit that the customer will get and the right customer will get that is most important. So, the key thing is that the problem the need and the solution and most importantly why it is going to do something in these four terms is that right? Create eliminate raise or reduce ultimately for the customers. So, the immediate step from here is that feature benefits for the customers, but to what impact. So, essentially after doing all these things you have to come with what we are doing that is for whom we are going to do this and what they are facing the problem and how our product will help them. That is we need to look from the customers point of view and then why you will really do well ok. So, why will do well? unlike means what is the current offering that you are having, how that is being changed by your product, your company and remember our study of the means and framework we talked about those three things. I think if you do not study any subject in your four years time, but only keep in mind these three graphs or three figures that will be enough. Which are these three figures? Yeah, remember that? The new value equation that we had seen, those four things. Second is the ends means framework that is old and new means and ends remember that and the last is the innovation matrix that is incremental substantial and radical versus product process 
and strategy. If you remember only these three graphs or frameworks that should be enough to take you through whatever you want to do in terms of development or creating something new. Okay? So, keep that in mind if you are able to apply this to your what you are doing ultimately because you want to win, but you will win only when you tell clearly what you want to do for the prospective customers. We are taking time on this because I think these are the most fundamental really the soul of a new business. Mechanically you can do lots of things, but really most underlying factors is what we need to have. So, therefore, now we come to the nuts and bolts of a business plan that is a document which starts from your basic idea and take it into a startup level through opportunity, your approach to address the opportunity and writing the business plan which will persuade and convince the participants in your business. So, why you require a business plan? Because you want to share with this what you are doing, it makes you think and address all the questions you are talking about and then it gives a full fledged overview and the terms that you are going to require for your new venture. So, therefore, why you need to have a business plan? Because it is required both for the people inside the company and outside the company. Who are the inside people? You yourself, your founding partners and your employees because unless they know that what the business is for, you cannot expect them to join and contribute for your business. From the outside, it is the customer, supplier, investors and other stakeholders who need to understand and join you in your development. So, therefore, for all the people within and outside, you need to have a well thought out, well studied, well brought out business plan. So, therefore, it is so important that you must do it completely yourself. This is not something which you can go out and do a cut and paste job or ask some consultant to do it for you. You need to do it yourself. In fact, I had written the word right here, write it yourself and if you do it by your own hand and with either pen or pencil on a paper that will be even better because that will really set you thinking on how to really go for this development and bring out all the key elements from there. But what happens? Almost always the business plan is prepared not in this way, but in a very hurried way or not giving enough attention and what we typically find is that it done in a very rough way and what are the most common problems with that? Overly optimistic. Idea is so powerful, it is so nice that how many students are there in the colleges today in India? All, all, all. How many students pass out every year from 12th standard? Any idea? Arnesh, you should know your customer, no? 10 million. How do you know? What is the basis for that? Sorry? Not, not 50 to 20. Not, not, that's not, that's wrong statistics. How many, how many students pass 12 standard every year? At least that you can find out. How will you find out? That's the important point we are going to be addressing very soon. But that's very important. So, what's happened? Most common mistake is that it's very optimistic. Either you overestimate the actual number or within that number you overestimate how many will be coming to you. So, that is the big problem. 
very vague market strategy that how will you really capture these people you will say that you will put a google adwords or put something or put an ad or put some leaflets in the newspaper whatever it is is that right lack of research is most important we will talk about that and the presentation is not properly done addressing these key points which are talking about and therefore these plans create reaction which is not at all favorable for the possible supporters who are going to help you out with and what they show that your idea you are so much in love with the idea that you are not willing to listen to the argument you are not listen to if there are any problems with that even somebody might be able to help you to improve it but you are in a situation where you are not able to pay attention to that and the growth 5 crore first year 20 crore second year you can just put on the unrealistic growth so there are the problems which you face when you are doing business plan which are most commonly happening and we want to go beyond that so basically what we are looking for in a business plan are some 10 elements which are most important some of them of course are very clear that is the opening page the contents the summary what this company is for why this offering who are the people behind this what product and services marketing management remember those three things we started with and of course with this you need to supplement them with other documents that who you are why you are qualified for this and the product specifications and other things that is there the important thing is summary which is very important because most of the time people have no time to read the whole plan only read the summary so the summary is right on top but you must write that after you have written the whole business plan and you really understood the key things which we want the customers or the people to look at so within the plan of course there are sub plans or important elements which we need to tackle which are the remember that we saw those three things that is what who and who and how so how will you make things how will you reach customers how will you organize yourself how will you make and how will you get the financials for all them so all of them will be given in more detail as you prepare the business plan now coming to this part business plan is essentially an output you are give, going to give that to the possible people who are going to support you either as customers or financiers or other people so a typical business plan if you see it in a physical way what it would be and how big will it be it will be about 30 to 40 page document out of which maybe 10 12 pages would be the appendix is that right that's why we're going to do that or you will have maybe about starting with 2025 slides as the ppt is that right that is something typically will come out as a physical form of the business plan but what we want to do is that what is going into getting this ready and for that remember that we use our what is this yeah so what does the iceberg do what does the iceberg do sorry that's right how much so one eighth of the iceberg is above the water level and seven eighth is the iceberg which is under the water so why you are looking at this 
because we want what you are giving the output should be one eighth. So you must have made a study which is eight times what you are giving. If you are making a business plan and you are writing something, the research that goes into it must be at least eight times the output you are going to share. That is the preparation and homework that we need to have. Like we are saying secondary research, we get every year MHRD gives publications that right. How many students are going into schools and colleges, how many dropouts, how many pass out, where they go. So all these things are secondary research that is available for us. Are you looking at that? How many buildings are constructed in Mumbai every year? Is that right? How many one BHK flat, how many with this? How many require investment of more than this? So all those data are available as per the secondary research. So if you do not have this or have not studied this, it's really you are starting something without doing this basic homework. So you have to and these are almost all the time available freely and available at no cost. So should we have it or not have it? If you do not have it, it is really criminal. So that is the first part of data which is the background and preparation that we can easily make. If somebody is going to do something in the auto component business, what he should do? You have this company called CDMAC. Anyone you know, heard this company? Yes, yeah, tell us. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, who is the professor you do not know? Professor Shashikan and what he has done along with his three PhD students he had built this company. What it is doing? They are basically controllers for two wheeler engines essentially or small motors which can be controlled by this device. So what he should do as the secondary research? Its most common application is for two wheelers. So what market you should look at? Should you go to Japan and USA? Which country are the biggest users of two wheelers in the world? India and India. What are they doing? How are they doing? Who are the biggest companies in India? If you want to start with which company should go first, should go to Bajaj first or Hero first, is that right? So that is the, in general about two wheelers that will come into the secondary research. Then primary research directly talking to the people that those who are making two wheelers and those who are using two wheelers. To both of them, if you talk to them and also the experts in the areas, then that is your primary research. So whatever project you are doing, it must have both the secondary research and the primary research and only then you can prepare a proper business plan. So like we saw that story, do you remember that, the scenario? So this is basically the framework for the new venture, that is opportunity. But equally important is that not the opportunity that you look at, but what is the vision that you are having? Because same thing people will look, is that right? Hundreds of people look at the same thing. And what is that? Every year you see that there are 20 billion books are bought in the world. Okay. So that is the situation, that is the scenario. So what is the opportunity? 
that depends on the vision of the individual. Somebody might say that I would set up more companies in different countries and print them and bind them and sell them and somebody might say that I will create an So, the vision is very different. So, what vision you come up with is very critical and if you have got this vision then what makes you think that you will be able to do that? What is your strength, your competencies and for that the people that you need to have and the resources that we need to have access to. Based on that you prepare the strategy and introduce your innovation, novelty. Remember that two things we talked yesterday last time, novelty and utility. So, you need to establish both the novelty and the utility and based on that you create the business and yes, hopefully then you will get the profit. So, that is at the end, it is never at the starting point. Okay? The profit is always the result of your business plan, execution, implementation, action, acceptance by people, only then you can think about the profit. So, therefore, that is the five step venture process that brings out the new ventures and essentially I think for each one of you that is what we need to really get on. What do you start with? That is where is the opportunity? What is your vision for this opportunity? Because for different people they will have different vision. Is that right? Somebody might say that just give them a piggy bank that is my solution. Is that right? That is also a solution. Then with this concept you have to refine the concept, prepare a mission statement. This is most critical. What is mission statement? what we stand for, but more importantly what we stand for, for the benefit of the customer. That is our mission is to make these people benefit in this way. So, that is the most important part. Then of course, you can draw the business plan, requirement of all the resources, we talked about the profit model, the funding and then start it. So, that is the process that typically follows and no matter what business you want to set up, you need to go through all these steps properly. To ensure that you are really doing it seriously is important to create the milestone. What is a milestone? Good, yeah. that you will say that at this point of time either on distance or timeline I would be able to see these things created or happened or resulted. So, that is what we need to go it and as you look at each milestone you need to also make a decision that is do I walk, continue to walk or do I run now or do I stop or do I change where so it is not just creating milestone but acting on them. What a typical milestone that you are ready with the product development or prototype or you have finished the POC or most importantly not only you have done this, but you have done it into less than 1000 rupees. That is equally important because there is no point in saying that I got something which works. You want to have something which works with things which are available readily you were there, Prashant made the presentation that Australian that IOT thing. Okay. So, this is what not only you have made this, not only you are developed this, but you have developed this within these parameters in terms of cost or physical requirement. And if I make this, I can also produce this so many things per day or per month, whether I make it myself or outsource or whatever it is and therefore, I will be able to make that. So, that is most critical that from idea to a 
final delivery in terms of milestones. And what are the typical milestones that a new venture goes through? That is basic idea, prototype, getting initial funding, doing market testing, starting the operations. What is bellwether sale? You heard the word bellwether? Sorry, first, not necessarily first, that is not right. No, it is to that customer. After seeing that, other people will see that. If you see that Cinemax sold it to Hero Honda, a batch of 100,000 controllers, that's a register. If Hero can buy from it, others can really buy from it. Or HSBC is accepting our model, or like all in call, Aman and Soham's, if State Bank has purchased their system, that's a bellwether sell. Then of course, the world is not going to keep quiet. If you are doing something, there will be competition and how do you respond to that competition? That is another important milestone. And finally, changing your improving, getting version 2 or version 3 or developing completely new model and the pricing. All these things are part of the development of a new venture. And for that, we need to have funding and this will be at different levels, different quantum of funding and with different terms and conditions that you will be facing. So initially will be very small amount of funding and that will be mostly from your closest people who might be willing to even if they lose everything, the father-in-law might not feel bad. I have given it to my son-in-law, okay? But that's not going to happen as you make the next series funding. So then the amount will be small here, there are no conditions, even it is the riskiest. Here you have got something ready. So people will say that, yes, I will give it to you, provided you reach this level and I get some ownership or I get this return on that. So this will be changing as you make the progress and the funding is becoming, as you say that, what did you say last time about money, what it is in the car, it is like petrol. That means without that, the car might be ambassador or car might be Mercedes, but without the fuel, no car can go. So when you are doing this, we also talked about one important concept last time. What was that? Information, what was that? Last class, information, use the word, yeah. We say between the entrepreneur and the funding, providers of funding, there is a information asymmetry, okay. So what is the asymmetry is there? That means you know more than they know. So it is important that you reveal to the supporter that this is the situation and this is what I am planning to do and there are various reasons or various risks which are there. In fact, what you should do before you submit the business plan, ask yourself what is it? List every reason why someone would not want to invest. That means you are stressing your idea to the maximum that why should someone not at all invest in this means all the problems which are there in the venture idea are completely brought out and you address them that is most critical and what are the possibilities all this can happen you can get late in developing the product something might happen in industry trends and then you are out what happened to blackberry Anyone use Blackberry here any time? Blackberry phone you used? Are you using it still? Yes or no? What happened? What industry trends took place? Huh? The touch screen changed there. There is no need of using your two thumbs to input your things. So the problems with these suppliers that is possible 
and political economic social events is that right all the people who are doing into the finance business with this pnb fraud now what's going to happen now what's the priority there okay so there are sometimes which are very unforeseen things that can happen technology may not be completely applicable you thought it will work but has not worked so all these things are the risks and problems which are there in your business so therefore the common mistakes and the business plan that typically you face most important is the technology or solutions chasing a problem you start with the what you have that's not a bad thing that you have got something is that right you did phd in some area so you got that knowledge so what are you doing with this knowledge whether it is nanotechnology or whether it is photovoltaic cells i want to do something so that's good but it can't be the end it has to be only the start you are not clear about how that will really work market competing analysis not done properly how do you get the revenue and profit and the worst thing you can do is that india is a country of 120 crore people even 0.0001% people buy this that is 1 million people buy it my business is done okay so there is no need for doing anything else is that right it's all taken care of so that is the worst mistake that you can have plus the confirmation from the customer that this is really the right thing they are looking for so these are all the key elements you need to understand and apply for your b plan so therefore what are the key things that you must ensure are part of your business plan here they are the top 10 things that we must ensure that they are included that is the the thing we just saw the story development the proper problem and opportunity your solution most critical what is the business model you are going to come up with this is the here you show your contribution this is what will distinguish you there has to be a magic if that is not there then your business is same as hundreds of thousands of other businesses what is that you are bringing is really the key thing if you cannot distinguish yourself you cannot make that this is the unique thing that we are want to do then there is no point people are not going to listen to you they say that if there are hundreds of people already doing this what is your unique thing that is the magic then of course marketing and sales how are you going to reach the customers the competition the worst thing you can say is that we have no competition we have come up with such a fantastic thing that there is no competition sorry that is the worst thing that you can say if it is not there that's very good but that is the worst thing you can say because there is always competition for whatever you come up with there is always competition and it shows your degree of efforts degree of uh, knowledge degree of research which will tell you that yes we do not have competition in this way but the competition a b c d is that right does google have a competition yes or no yeah does amazon have a competition so there is nothing that people will come out with where there is no competition in fact if you tell that this is the competition that we are facing it tells the other people that you are really studied the thing you really know things and if you know things you are able to come up with a plan which will address those issues that makes a better impression than saying that we have no competition of course the team that is the most important part that who you are and your partners in the venture and then of course the milestone projections that how we are going to do it in the next one year or two year or whatever it is the 
and last is the what is the current status and over what period you are able to reach this level. And finally, that with this now that we have made and we have told you what we have done so far, this is what you are going to now manage or do it. Okay. Then depending on type of venture, there are various sources of capital and you have to be very careful that what kind of sources at what stage you, you can really go for. Up to this stage, it is really the your own and up to this stage you are really not going to be affected adversely. That means you will get money which you can use the way you want without losing control or ownership. The moment you get outside people, then you start getting the difficulties and you need to be prepared for either giving control or ownership for your project. The venture capital has been designed essentially for supporting new ventures and unlike other funding, they are ready to take high risk, but they want of course for that high return. They are also very patient, that means they are willing to wait for 3 years, 4 years, 5 years, yeah that is right. Yeah. This is set up by Sanjay Nayak, who incidentally is part of our advisory committee and Desh, Desh Pandey, you know Guruaj Desh Pandey, anyone heard about him? Guruaj Desh Pandey, no? Google it, Google it, okay. So this company was set up 17 years back and they made their IPO that means they went to the public last year. So the people who invested in this company were patient in this company getting return for 15 years that is what long term illiquid that means they invested in the company and waited to get this return now. So that is what happens when you get a proper venture capitalist supporting you. So therefore, what they want, what they wanted Tejas to be, that is the potential to become a leading firm in a high growth industry with few competitors. So that is what ultimately Tejas became, but it took them more than a decade to reach this level. Highly competent team of course with Gururaj Deshpande and Sanjay is a fantastic team they had. Advantage over others, viable exit strategy that means at the end of it they will get a huge return. They have got the return but it took really long time. Good valuation, opportunity, the whole sector of communication has been a high growth area is that right? And they are part of that communication sector. Then founders capital that is skin in the game that is the promoter has himself herself invested sufficiently and then showed the progress in developing this. So that is what a venture capitalist would require in a new development. So basically the issues to be resolved when you go to venture capitalist you must have to strike a deal that means how much ownership the venture capitalist will get from you, timing of investment, what is the control will be there because they will be putting you their advisors or members on their board, what is the period for ownership, what type of security, is there any reservation and dilution, so all those things will have to be then agreed upon with the investors. Because this is important, we are just taking a few minutes to do that. When investors are giving you, they really do not have their own money, so what happens, this equity fund, the VC is that here they get investment from the high net individual or companies and that they invest into company. That is they get funds from the investor and cash they give to the company and the company gives them shares like Sanjay gave shares to company. And the shares when there is IPO, 
they are sold and then the investor get the return. So, how do they manage? So, they try to get good companies in which they can invest through selection and assessment. They will make a deal with this, they monitor and after everything goes well, they will exit. The exit might be whatever exit will be. Sorry? Will they get money or not they get money? So, whatever deals are there. So, when actually you see at the end of it, there are deals which are big winner that is you invested in an Apple or a Google and you got huge amount of invest or it could be a reasonable winner not a big winner or there was actually no return you did not lose money but you also did not get any money or there were workouts that means you lost money or you lost in a very big way and totally wipe out. So, if you make 10 investments, maybe only one could be a winner and two or three would be just about average return and six, seven would be losses or totally wipe outs. That is why these investors are very careful when they are investing in your company. So, what they look for? when you go out and want to get money from people, they say two things that is who you are and the expertise and experience that you have got. That is can you manage things, can you remain calm and face difficulties, do you understand things totally, can you communicate well and does your experience show that you are understanding this particular sector is it really the one in which you can perform well. So, therefore, you check and ask yourself before you submit the business plan that is for whom you are writing can you show to them that you really have put in the efforts and your investment into this you are clear about that most importantly the research that you have done has to be brought out you are consistent and because of that you are offering a unique opportunity. So, therefore, no matter what you are working on there will be always plus and minus things on that. So, the idea is that you should be clearly able to bring out all those things and share them and say that these are the issues, these are the way we are going to manage that. Instead of saying that everything is fantastic, this is a 100 crores one year project, nobody is going to invest in that. This is what your output going to be when you submit your assignment, last assignment that is your company problem, solution, business model, competition, technology, marketing, leadership and all and you have to follow 10, 20, 30 rule. Like here we saw the B plan and all, but ultimately we are going to do a presentation. This is the rule. Any idea what this rule is? 10, 20, 30 rule. Yeah, 10 slides maximum should not take more than 20 minutes to present and it should not be less than the font size that you have got here 30 font size that is you can't put too much material on the slides ok. For us it will be actually 10 minutes not 20 minutes when you do the assignment. So, that is all I think thank you. So, Sorry, to start with, so it saw the iceberg, no, you have to prepare the iceberg first, yeah. I said only one slide? 10 slides, 10 slides, yeah, it is a 10 slide thing, okay, good, thank you, I think, yeah.